Hi besties, welcome back. For today's video, I'm doing everything that I bought during the month of May. So I did this video for April a month ago. You guys absolutely love that video. So I am going to try to do them every single month. Everything that I feature will be in the description box in case you guys are interested in purchasing them. And also this is excluding collaboration. So everything I bought with my own money. So with that being said, subscribe if you're new, give this video a like if you enjoy it and let's just get into it. We're gonna start with accessories because I actually got quite a few. I've really been on the accessory grind because they're really popular right now and I have a lot of clothing pieces, but I do need to build my accessory collection. So we're gonna start with just a phone case. You guys know my obsession with wildflowers. So I picked up one of their new cases. I believe it's called Tea Party. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do when I have to upgrade my phone because I think I have like over 10 wildflower phone cases now like i'm gonna have to try to sell them or something but my plan is almost over so i'm not buying anymore because it's just stupid but it is so cute it's like purple and it has a bunch of flowers all over it it's adorable and i just really can't help myself when it comes to the wildflower cases because i just get so bored with my phone case because i'm like constantly looking at it or taking photos and i just like like to switch it up, you know? My favorite thing that I got this month and I'm so excited about, I've been staring at the Vela sunglasses for months now and I have been on the hunt to find a dupe for them, but honestly, just nothing compares to these sunglasses I'm about to show you guys. Like I literally got those like orange aviator frame sunglasses from Indy because they were cheaper and they kind of look like these. I don't know if it's because I keep going on the website, but I kept getting their cookies everywhere on websites on instagram like it literally wouldn't leave me alone so i was like fuck it i'll just buy them and i've never had an expensive pair of sunglasses before so i'm so excited about these i believe these are called the dixie and chocolate cinnamon <gasps> guys honestly so worth the hype and so worth the price i'm so excited about these and they are my babies. This is your sign. If you've been thinking about getting the Vela sunglasses, just do it and you will not be disappointed. Let's do hats because I have three different ones. So the first one is this trucker hat. This is from Curated by Muse. I asked you guys on my Instagram for trucker hat suggestions and a lot of you guys said this brand. They're actually based in Montreal, which is so amazing. I'm in Ontario. I love to support a Canadian brand, but it's basically just a amazing green trucker hat this color of green has been so popular and i've been loving it but it's kind of bold for me to wear it as like a shirt or a sweater or something so an accessory is a perfect way for me to add like a really bright pop of color they also had i believe red and blue if you guys aren't into the green if you guys haven't picked up a trucker hat for summer definitely grab one next up we have my favorite hat ever i've been wanting a straw hat for so long and i know i'm gonna wear them so much with bikinis just like tanning at a cottage they're honestly just my summer vibe i'm you guys will see throughout this video i'm really into like the western style right now so this is actually from aritzia and i believe it's called the festival hat yes and what i like about this is it comes in sizes so i got mine in a size extra small slash small because i have a very small head but i believe they had small medium and then medium large and then there's also a string on the inside right here where you can tighten it to really stay on your head which is awesome let me just put this on for you guys so you can see <gasps> how cute right i'm just picturing this like a bikini photo in the mirror or even just like tanning like i said i'm so excited about it i would have went looking for this at the thrift store but ours are still closed i think they're opening up on friday which is really exciting so i think i'm gonna do a thrifting summer wardrobe video because i've been dying to do that but they've been closed and i just love this little black string around it just like adds a nice pop you know and then the last hat that i got is from urban outfitters it's a cute little cream crochet hat this i got for tanning specifically because i don't really like to tan my face and i really liked how it's i know i look ridiculous but i liked how everything was like floppy so you can like pull it over your face and really protect it, it kind of looks like a smurf hat but i think it's really cute 
and crochet obviously has been so popular and if you guys aren't into like the crochet clothing accessories are the perfect way to do that and i've been seeing hats everywhere like checkered print ones obviously you could just wear this out in everyday style too but i got it specifically for tanning i just have one bag to show you guys and this i actually custom made from a girl in etsy who lives in the uk i'll have her shop linked down below i'm sure you guys could custom order the exact same one but she made me a little crochet shoulder bag how cute is this it's definitely a lot smaller than i was expecting it to be but i'm honestly okay with it because this is the perfect going out bag if you're wearing just a simple black dress and some heels you can just throw this on and it adds such a fun pop the last accessory that i have to show you guys is i think my favorite thing from this whole haul because i've been searching for the perfect pair for so long and they are cowboy boots they're definitely not everybody's style but I love the Western vibe. It honestly took me a long time to get into it, but I'm obsessed and I can't go back. So these I actually ordered from eBay. I'll have the exact brand name linked down below, A-R-I-A-T. I won't have exact pairs linked down below just because like, obviously I don't know your guys' shoe size, but I just looked up Ariat Heritage cowboy boots and I got my typical size, which is a six and a half and they fit really nicely. I did have to get like insoles for them because they are real leather. So like they were stretched out and really worn in. So I found the insole just made them fit perfectly. They just made a debut on my Instagram. So I'm so excited about these. And if you guys don't like them, that's okay. I do, that's all that matters. Let's move on to Princess Polly. I have two things to show you guys. So the first one is this little black linen skirt if you guys have been watching my styling videos over the last month talk about this a few times but it's basically just a very lightweight linen black mini skirt so i did get this in a size two and i will say it is very very tiny i would suggest sizing up in it i should have got a four but it's whatever i think it's the perfect skirt to wear like when you're wearing a very oversized jacket that covers your bum just because i really feel like it will ride up if i wear this out so this is going to be my dead dedicated oversized jacket skirt. I love that it's very lightweight. So it's the perfect skirt for summer. I believe they have this in like eight different colors. And I didn't have a black mini skirt, which is such a closet staple. So I'm happy that I got one now. Oh, I guess I have three things for Princess Polly. So the next one is a tie top. If you guys watched my summer fashion trends video, you guys would have seen me wearing this and I got so many compliments on it, which you guys are so nice to me. I like literally cry every time I read your comments. They just make me so happy. You guys have definitely seen these tie tops all over Instagram. Princess Polly has so many different kinds and I just went for this bold blue color. I actually wanted the orange, but it was sold out. I'm actually really happy that I got the blue though because it's very out of my comfort zone. But once I wore it in that video, I was like, hey, I honestly really like it. So I'm happy that I got it. This I got in a size two. I definitely could have sized up to a four in it because everything is adjustable. So if you guys are fuller chested, I would recommend sizing up. The last thing that I got from Princess Polly is a dress. Um, a lot of this stuff you guys have definitely seen in my videos, but it's nice to just have them in a haul for you guys. So I still have the tag on this one. It's called the Blair Mini Dress Pink and I got a size extra small slash small. Kind of got an ombre detail going on. Halter neck knit mini dress and it is so cute. I love that the back is completely open. This as well, I was picturing like patio drinks in mind kind of like later in the day because it is knit, so it will keep you a little bit warmer. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you would have known that I got the Realization Par Elton John Hercules tee. So let's just do a little bit, a little bit of a story time about this shirt. So when I ordered this, it was in American dollars. So it was, I think it came out to 70 US dollars, which is already so expensive. And with currency conversion, I believe it came out to $100 Canadian for a baby tee. And then I also got a $40 duty 
$40. That's almost half the cost of this shirt and it's tiny. How is this a $40 duty? It is so ridiculous. So if you guys are living in Canada and have been wanting this tea, do not get it. It is seriously not worth it. And I couldn't like reject the package because at that point I already spent $100 on it. I mean, I'm sure I could have gotten like a refund for it. I don't know if it's different in the States, but I just want to tell you guys that in case you're in Canada and we're thinking about getting it. It's just so ridiculous. Nonetheless, She's adorable. I've been seeing her all over Instagram. She's so cute. And this I actually got in a size extra small. It runs so big. I would suggest sizing down in it. I definitely could have worked with an extra extra small, but I believe it's supposed to be a little bit more of a looser fitting baby tee. I don't have any shirts in this fit, but I love it. And I definitely want to pick up more. A lot of my baby tees are like super tight and cropped. So this was a nice switch up but not worth $140. I just got one thing from Aritzia and it is this terry cloth button up. So this I got in a size small and it's like the perfect oversized fit. You guys know terry cloth sets have been trending. Aritzia came out with this like white button up and I could not pass up. It is so cute. It is everything that I was looking for, except I really wish that they came out with matching shorts for this because I have been searching for a pair to go with this and no colors match it because this is such a like stark white. A lot of the brands I have found are kind of like a cream tone so they don't match and I think Frankie's Bikini is the only place that I've seen that has this white color but your girl is not spending like $120 on a pair of shorts. I don't need the shorts to go with it. I can just wear this with some denim shorts or I can just throw this over top of a bathing suit. But yeah, Aritzia, just please come out with matching shorts to this because it would make me really happy. The last place that I got stuff from is Beginning Boutique. So I actually got two sets in two different colors. So I'll just show them at the same time. Emma Rose restocked her collection and I actually wanted this set so bad the first time, but it sold out when it was in my cart, but it's basically just a pinstripe button up short set. You guys know these sets are so popular and I will be wearing them all summer. They're so versatile. You can literally wear them to bed. You can wear them out with sneakers, you can wear them with sandals. You can throw them over a bikini. They are just so amazing. So I picked up this pink color, which can we just talk about? This is the perfect pink, PFG. And I got them both in a size eight, which is a small because I wanted them to be oversized. And then she also came out with this tan color. I was trying to pick between the tan and the pink because I really don't need both but I couldn't decide. So I just ordered both, which is fine. I definitely will get a lot of use out of them because like I said, I'll be wearing them all summer long, but I just loved this like tan beige color. I thought it was so beautiful. The model was so tan and she honestly convinced me to get it because her skin tone looks so nice with this and I was like, okay, I need that. <laughs> I really like that I can wear them separately though. I could just throw the button up over anything and then also you can just wear the pinstripe shorts like with a cute little tank top. Next up, I have a little halter top from Beginning Boutique. Well, from Beginning Boutique. This I got in a size six, which is an extra small. I love the material of this too. It's not like cotton, but it's also not spandex. It's kind of like a mix of both. So it's super stretchy and soft and it's like really good quality. Your nipples don't show through or anything. Holds me up, which is really nice, but it's basically just a white, super cropped halter top. Like it's pretty much just a bra top that you actually like cross in the front. It will be kind of hard to show when I'm holding it up, but this is what it, you do when you put it over your head. I just thought that was really different and I haven't seen anything like it. I have just like plain halter tops, but I just loved that crossing detail. I thought it was so cute. The last thing that I picked up is this brown terry cloth onesie thing. This is well you guys would have seen in my previous videos, but I got this in a size small and I actually ordered it in a size extra small as well just to compare the size because this one was kind of big on me, but I'm actually selling the extra small just because it is like pretty tight and that's not what I wanted. So I'm just stupid and should have stuck with the size small, but it's listed on my Poshmark if you guys want to buy that. But it's so cute and I've been loving terry cloth. So it was just truly calling my name and I don't know how it's not sold out yet. So you guys should definitely get your hands on this. It's kind of long on me because I'm short. I can sacrifice that because it's a really nice loose fit. And the other one, it just like, I didn't feel confident in it, if that makes sense. Like this one I would wear out, but the other one, 
it was just a little too tight for my liking this as well so versatile you can wear this over a bathing suit or you can wear it out in everyday fashion and i love that about it i forgot to show this in the haul but the last thing that i picked up this month is this 437 bathing suit this is the leo top and kenzie bottoms got the top in a medium bottoms in a size small i would honestly recommend sizing down in these because they're like so long here definitely could have worked with an extra small but the top fits me perfectly the set is so buttery and soft and definitely worth the hype so that is everything that i picked up in the month of may i hope you guys enjoyed this video all the product links and the size that i got will be linked in the description box if you guys want to purchase any of them if you're new here make sure you subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out when i upload if you want give this video a like if you enjoyed it follow my instagram leave a comment of your favorite piece that i picked out because i love talking to you guys you make my day every day yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you in a few days bye